Hey everyone, Miss Brianna here. Hope you are doing well. Today we are going to be reading a book about a little vampire who would rather be skateboarding than learning how to be spooky. So the title today is called Vlad the Rad and it's written by Bridget Farriger. Hope you enjoy. Hi, I'm Vlad. I'm a vampire. Here are some things I like. Cats, bats, bendy straws, glow-in-the-dark stickers, and bugs. Rocks are nice too. But you know what I love more than anything else? I love to skateboard. This is where I learned how to be a scary, spooky vampire. I can find lots of things to skate on in, around, and through at Spook School. It's a pretty good skate spot, I guess. Except skateboarding is not exactly allowed. It's not exactly unallowed, but Miss Fuss Bucket sure doesn't like it. Skateboarding is a big waste of time, says Miss Fuss Bucket. You need to work on your spookiness. Why can't you be like your classmates and eerily float to class or ooze down the hallway quietly? But I have to skate. When I'm skateboarding, it's like my heart has bat wings and my feet have wheels. I feel like sugar frost and lightning bolts. Vlad, this is your first warning, says Miss Fuss Bucket. Learning to be spooky is fine, but it just doesn't make me super happy the way landing a trick does. Vlad, this is warning number two, says Miss Fuss Bucket. It's hard for me to concentrate on scary le scaring lessons when my brain keeps coming up with ideas about stuff I could jump over or through or tricks I could combine with others to make up new gnarlier tricks. Even when I mess up, fall down and munch it, I just get back up and try again. Skating is not about being perfect. You'll crack your head open and your brains will leak out, says Miss Fuss Bucket. Then how will you learn? I do get in trouble a lot, and the worst thing is that I hear my classmates whispering, there goes Vlad, Vlad, he's such a show off. I'm not trying to show off, I promise. It's just that when I'm skating, I am stoked, and stoked is the best way to be. That's it, detention screeches Mrs. Fuss Bucket. Then it happened. Now Vlad, I don't want you to see you skateboarding at school anymore. If I catch you doing it again, lectured Mrs. Fuss Bucket, and I had a feeling she really meant it. I don't know why being spooky and skateboarding can't go together just because Miss F doesn't think so. If they are both things I can do, maybe I can do them at the same time. When we took a field trip to the Natural History Museum to look at old bones, I was trying to be on my best behavior. I really, really, really was. Until I saw something that gave me a frightful idea. What do you think he saw? Oh no, Miss Fuss Bucket squealed from way down below. Don't you dare. Vlad the rat saw a dinosaur. What do you think he's gonna do? Clink, clack, clonk, clonk, clink, clink, clacky, clonk, clonk. Those dinosaur bones made a terrifying sound as I skateboarded down the back. It was awesome. When I got to the end of the tail, I hissed and screeched and ollied right over a pterodactyl. A ghost, a specter, a terrible monster, screamed pe all the people, and they ran away. Then I super slammed into the woolly mammoth. Vlad, said Miss Fuss Bucket, you were radically terrifying. Vlad the rat. Vlad the Rod cheered my classmates. And
And that's how I almost stuck my biggest trick yet and became Vlad the Rad. The end. So drop in the comments what your favorite activities are inside of school or outside of school, especially with this nice fall weather. Thanks guys, see you next time.